if you uh, go somewhere strange, like let's say you go to Kyoto and uh, you're walking around. I mean, I, I've been going to Kyoto annually for 20 years and I still don't understand anything. I don't understand what people are doing and so I'm trying to develop uh, a picture of what's going on there. So I call that information. It's opaque to me. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, like, sure, it's, it's, but you know, if you're smoking DMT, you're in your chair. So, is it a hallucination? Well, no, you are uh, physically in your chair, but mentally or spiritually, you're traveling in this other place which is stranger than Kyoto, and you're trying to figure out are there any people, are there entities, are there, you know, what is it a code? Is there a language? Is there anything that's ever repeated that you could remember, but we don't have a vocabulary, so we can't store it in memory, so it's like you have no memory, but you're trying to get a sense of the, you know, how to navigate and what to do, and you actually come away with an idea for something, maybe a spiritual practice, maybe a kind of a magical incarnation or something. Mm -hmm. Then you try it out, and it works, and you realize you've obtained information from this strange reality, alternate reality. Um, is that along the lines of, this, of a spiritual reality? Um, well, I, yes, I, well... I what I'm asking is, is it freestanding or are we generating? Um, are we visiting it or are we... Well, I think it's like maybe it seems, this is a metaphor, it seems something like the electromagnetic field. It is there. It is vibrating. It's all around us. It's invisible. It affects us a little bit. And also, we can affect it a lot by turning on our cell phone or whatever. So it's an alternate reality only to the extent that it's invisible to us. As soon as it becomes visible, then it is reality. So like this, I believed that between, let's say, the DMT reality and ordinary reality, that there was a kind of continuity or contact as between the ordinary body and the electromagnetic field. So the spiritual field maybe exists without any humans. In space, I don't know. Uh, but it's very greatly affected by people thinking things mental activity radiates, as it were. You can see these radiations in the LSD experience. You, you think something, you can send a message to somebody, and they can respond, and you can, uh, you can see it. So in the DMT experience, it seemed to me that there was a clearer image of the alternate reality without having a clear reference to ordinary reality. So that had to be more or less excavated by a long-term archaeological project. 